everyone, welcome to today's stream. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. My name is Supercat K and I'm so excited to be taking you through SIM's Learners Eduverse. So if you don't know what that is, the Singapore Institute of Management is coming in with a fresh new look. And through the Learners Eduverse, we're going to understand what it means to learn for life and thrive for life. So this is my very first time going through a showcase in the metaverse. So I'm really excited to be taking you through all the different things that we're going to do. And before we begin, don't forget that you have to use your username and your password that you will receive when you register. So let's go. So when you sign up for SIM's Learners Eduverse, you will receive this email that I have over here um, and essentially gives you your username, your password, um, and you can also click to access the Eduverse through this link. So I just want to check out the, the email a little bit more. It gives you a really good rundown on what you can expect. <gasps> There's prizes? Okay, um, there's surprises to be won as well, which is very exciting. I can't wait to learn more about that. And I think we can just go straight ahead into the Ediverse itself. So let me just do that really quickly. So I have officially logged into my Learners Ediverse account and I'm in the world right now. And the first thing you'll see is obviously the controls. Please don't just click away from this. This is really important in helping you navigate the world. Um, it's kind of like a game, it's kind of like gaming almost. So I'm going to, there's a, there's a navigation as well. And there are different missions and quests that you can complete. I think this might be linked to the prizes that we saw. So I'm not going to look into much into it. I think we should just start on our world because we only have 30 minutes to go through this entire experience. So let's go. So when you first start out, obviously there I am looking really wonderful and you can actually go through the whole set of outfits and change how your avatar looks like if you'd like. You can go all the way to the nitty gritty details, but if you're like me and you want something a little bit quick and easy because we only have 30 minutes, you can actually go up into the avatars and choose some of the presets that they have um, for you already. I am very much perfectly fine with my lovely lady over here. She looks like she's ready for an adventure. So we're gonna stick with her and the first thing you're going to be greeted with are these four panels that you see over here Once again, if you clicked away from the navigation just now We're very nice. We remind you one more time how to um, navigate and move around in this world um, It does take a little bit of getting used to especially if you are not used to navigating in this space But give yourself some time and it will be super easy to work around Obviously, that's something I'm excited for is the quests that there will be um, scattered around the entire Ediverse. And we are going to be able to win up to prizes up to $2,000. I see a Nintendo Switch, I see AirPods, I see Starbucks gift cards. I think this is going to be a fun quest to explore. So um, I'll tell you more about how you can participate and how you can stand to win these prizes as we go along in the Ediverse. I want to see how the tips look like. So over here, you can learn how you can stand a chance to win the different prizes that we spoke about. So there are seven different shapes for you to collect that you can find around the Ediverse. And I think these images over here give you a very clear idea of where you can find them. So all you have to do is to collect those seven pieces and it will form a very familiar shape. I'm not going to tell you about it. You, you, you find them and then you tell me what it looks like. Um, and, and then after that, you can actually win some pretty cool prizes. So like I mentioned in the navigation, you'll be able to see that you can walk, you can run, but I highly encourage you to fly. And you can clearly just do that by clicking F and immediately you will start flying. Um, this is just a lot easier to move around and it's also 10 times cooler. So I think we want to be cool people today. And, and now we can go ahead and explore the rest of the Eduverse. So now that we've figured out our navigation, we've customized our avatar to look their very best. We're going to start going around the six different rooms or regions in the Eduverse. So obviously, like I mentioned, you can walk, you can run, you should fly. But also in case you do get lost, in any part of the Eduverse. Just want to let you know that on this right hand side over here, you can actually teleport to the different areas of interests that you are interested in. So as you can tell, you can get a quick overview on the six different regions and, and more. Um, so this is one quick way to identify where you're at. 
Another really quick tip for you that I have found out for myself as well is that you can actually, when you enter a specific room, it tells you on the top left-hand corner exactly where you are. So right now, we are in where lifelong learning begins. And so if you ever get lost, just remember to take a look at these two points and you will know exactly where you need to be. Okay, so we are in where lifelong learning begins. This is where everything begins, right? For both our local and international students, there's a lot of fun activities you can do and places for you to make friends and even get used to campus life. So as you see on these panels, you can have a better understanding of some of the support that you can receive from the international student office. You can even read up on the different testimonials and look at them, they all look so happy and look so cute. They're just like having such a good time. Um, so you can read up all in the on the panels itself, but I am just going to take this time to just collect the first two shapes. And it gives you a prompt to let you know that you've just collected your shape, so. There we go, first two easy claps, very easy. Um, we just collected the first two um, shapes for you in your quest. So uh, feel free to have a look, feel free to even interact with the different panels. Um, they all branch out to different links and some of them even to videos, which I will show you later on as well. So for international students, I know it can be really, really intimidating to study overseas um, or to even you know, go to a different country to essentially start a whole new path or direction for yourself. I totally know how that feels like. But don't worry because SIM offers a huge range of programs and support to help you settle in as effortlessly as possible. So over here, you get a really quick overview. You can see the buddy program. There's accommodation recommendations, super important when you're going overseas travel information you can even do a meet and greet in Singapore to get a better understanding of the people that you're going to hang out with there's a welcome reception and also you have your student pass collection so they've really got all of the different angles covered for you to have probably the best experience the best overseas um, studying experience that you can receive so if there's any of you in the chat that, you know, have been overseas, have studied overseas, or if you haven't uh, as well, like, you know, share some of your experiences. Let us know what are some things that excite you? What are some things that also kind of make you nervous for wanting to explore um, an international studying experience? Over here, you can actually sign up for a physical campus tour just by clicking onto the panel itself. All you have to do is actually click onto the panel itself and it will open up an extended web browser for you to take a look in your free time outside of the 30 minutes as well. So this is something that you can just do. Just click on it, keep it here, keep the tab open for you. And then afterwards, you can just go back into the Ediverse and continue exploring the rest for the rest of your 30 minutes. So by the way, if you ever also seem to somehow lose your way, there's actually these pointers on the floor that let you know how to navigate the different rooms. So right now we're going to go into the next room, which I believe, what does it say over there? It says modern learning spaces. And we are greeted with my best friend, a shape. So we're going to go and take the shape really quickly. We've already got three shapes to collect. We just have four more to go. So if you want to start your new education experience, you obviously want to know how your future campus is going to look like. And through this second room, we get a really good understanding of how the SIM campus looks like. You can even explore the world online through the virtual tour. I'm just going to click onto this button. And it actually takes you to the virtual tour on the web browser. So you get a really good sense, actually a literal sense of how the school looks like. It is actually, these are actual real pictures of how the school looks like. Um, and you can also have a look at some of the videos. Um, fun fact, if you walk closely enough to the panel, it actually plays by itself. And you can also zoom in to get a very clear view of, of the video. And all you have to do is click zoom out afterwards. So uh, don't forget to have a look at these videos to really get a sense of how the SIM campus looks like. So as you can see, there are many different facilities in the SIM campus, from sports to multi-purpose halls. There's even a 400-seat theater. What? 
Oh, you can click onto it and obviously it brings you back to the website. You can have a clearer look at the different facilities um, at SIM campus. Um, and fun fact, um, it's not in the pictures here, but there's also a Starbucks and a Subway. So don't worry, we got you. We got you with all the good foods as well. So definitely the SIM campus is filled with all sorts of facilities for you to explore all of your different interests as well. So moving on, we are moving on to the third room, which is living and studying in Singapore. So personally for myself, I am really thankful that I had the experience of um, going overseas and to learning different perspectives and cultures. So I personally value a lot um, the experience. I personally value the experience of, of uh going overseas to, to gain new experiences. And I think for many of you friends who are international students looking to come to Singapore, I think this room is very important for you to have a look to get a good sense of what you're coming to Singapore for. I mean, Singapore is pretty awesome, you know what I'm saying? Um, but you can get a good sense of some things you should know about um, before you want to come to Singapore. These are the eight tips that SIM Eduverse has for you. And there's also a ton of delicious food options. I agree fully 100%. There are many, many different things, many different foods that you can explore. And obviously you can click onto the panels to interact with that. So this panel over here shows you the estimated living costs of an international student in Singapore. So what's interesting about studying with SIM is that you're literally getting the best of both worlds. So you can pursue a degree from any of the university partners from the US, UK, Australia, or even France while you're still living in Singapore. So having lived abroad myself, you know, I'd say that there's really significant differences between the costs of living in Singapore and living overseas. So this is something for you to consider. But you know, if costs are still a concern to you, don't worry because SIM offers bond free scholarships and other options for you to explore as well. So over here, you can actually book a consultation to speak to anyone from the recruitment team in SIM to ask them about anything from studying abroad to entry requirements and anything else that you need. So all you have to do is scan the QR code on the panels over here. And for international students, you can book an online consultation. And for Singapore students or students based in Singapore, um, you can actually scan this QR code over here to book a face-to-face -face consultation on campus. And now we're going to move on to the auditorium. This auditorium is so futuristic. It's so cool looking. I'm really excited to explore. And there's a ton of different chairs. so. We're gonna sit and uh, as you can see, the space captures the journey from the past all the way to the future. So fun fact, um, I didn't know this, but SIM has actually been around for over 50 years. So they are insanely qualified with tons of experience in this industry. So feel free to take a look at the videos in your own time. Let me know which video you like the most. Um, personally, I thought unveiling the brand was very, very cool. So you guys should definitely check that one out. I'm going to stand up and continue my journey because we only have 30 minutes and we have a ton to explore. So we're going to go ahead into our next room. So this is our fourth room that we're going to explore. It is the global education experience. Once again, you are greeted with a shape. I am going to pick that up right now. And we just have three more shapes to go. So very, very excited. With SIM, you can actually get a global learning experience um, with the various university partners from all around the world. So over here, you can see that some of the partners are from Australia, United States, France, and even the United Kingdom. And that means that you can get your degree from any one of these countries. You can learn more about the different universities through the videos on the right hand side over here so over here we have a video from the University of London so feel free to click into it to learn more um, and to understand what the various university offers and of course if you'd like to know more about all of the different university partners you can click onto this link to view all of the videos so feel free to click here to teleport so this is the first time we are experiencing a portal um, so I'm going to 
to click onto it, it says to collect the next shape, you must visit Global Education. So let's go in and see how that looks like. I've got my fifth shape. And okay, we made it. We are in the Global Education Experience region. Um, this is a whole other region that we've not explored yet. And obviously, if you want to, you can go back through this portal. But let's take a look at, at what we can explore over here. So over in this section, you can actually see that SIM has over 10 university partners from all around the world, from the US, UK, Australia, and even France. So I just really love how the screen immediately interacts while I'm just flying around them. So feel free to take your time to read through and learn more about the different universities um, that SIM works closely with. So you can actually go further and explore the different pages for yourself um, and the chat even works as well. So you can talk to the students and to the chatbot. So feel free to go and explore the pages for yourself. Right now we have a limited time, but don't forget you can click onto the links and they will open up as browsers for you to explore later on. So I just want to highlight that SIM has actually achieved the EduTrust Star Achievement. And this achievement is actually given to private education institutions for achieving a commendable level of performance in managing their institutions and providing an outstanding quality of education and welfare to their students. And, and to me, this is just testament of how far SIM has come and, and what they're building moving on and moving further ahead. So congratulations, first of all, to SIM. So, yeah, this is really, really awesome. So for the panels over here, you can see the programs offered by the various university partners. So you have diploma programs to foundation to undergraduate degrees. And there is something for everyone. As you can see, they have so many different courses to explore. For students in Singapore, if you're working and you're looking for a flexible option, we've got you covered with the part-time programs. So international students, you can actually look at the full-time programs available as well. So over here on this panel, as you can see, I'm going to zoom in so we can have a better look. You can actually let us know which part of the world you're from. Actually, feel free to let me know in the chat right now as well where you're based in. Um, and through clicking on the icons, you'll be able to request for a brochure. So for example, if I'm in Japan, I'll click on the Japan icon and it will basically allow me to receive a brochure for me to help me better understand more about SIM. So feel free to do that and feel free to let me know in the chat as well where you're from. I would love to know. So there's also brochures for postgraduate and master's degrees if you already have a bachelor's. So this brings us to our next section, which is on to the postgraduate and master's degrees available at SIM. So we talked about lifelong learning and your education journey definitely does not stop with a bachelor's degree. So you can check out all of the different master's programs that are awarded by the universities from France and the UK. So I'm sure you're really interested to learn more about the different experiences that some of the students have had during their time in SIM. So you can go ahead and look at the different testimonials um, available here. You can read up on the different stories of the students who were with the various university partners. Um, feel free to take a look at it yourself. As always, you can click in to interact with the different testimonials. But don't forget, you can book a consultation for yourself um, to help you answer any of the other burning questions that you might have um, from exploring this region. So I'm going to head back to the main region right now. Um, I think we've fully explored this entire region that we're in. So let's go ahead and head back. Okay, so I'm back in the main region and I have collected um, my next um, shape as part of the quest. So please don't forget that you have to go and explore and look through the region if you want to collect this um, shape for the prizes. So we're back at the SIM Learners Eduverse main region and we're going to continue on with our exploration. And so we are here at the fifth room which is Learn and Thrive for Life. So learning is not limited to the classrooms at SIM. Part of the learning experience includes self-development and leadership skills and building great experiences beyond just studying for exams or for assignments. So 
over here you can see all of the lovely student ambassadors. They all, they all look so happy and I think it's just such a cool experience to be a student ambassador. Over here, you'll be able to see some of the peer mentors in SIM. So I'm going to click in to one of the testimonials and over here, oh, okay, it links out into SIM Pure Mentors page, which looks really, really cool. There looks like there's a lot of information here for you to explore as well. So feel free to check it out in your free time. And of course, finally, you also get to watch some of the videos of uh, some of the cool initiatives and activities um, done by the student ambassadors at SIM. So let's watch this one. Oh, they look so cute. <laughs> so feel free to go ahead and watch the videos for yourself. You know, it's been you've been through five regions. You've been through five rooms. You know, give yourself a break. Chill in this region. Uh, grab a cup of water um, but just for a little bit because we still have one final room to look at so we're gonna go and take a look at it right now so last but not least we are in the room success at every life stage so you know often we we think to ourselves after our undergraduate or our postgraduate studies you know we always wonder like what's next for us in our future and Personally, I know how scary that feeling is of uncertainty. Um, but you don't have to worry because at SIM, they focus a lot on lifelong learning. So after you've gotten your degree, there are even micro-credentials, which are super short courses that you can take up to upskill yourself um, and to improve on yourself as well. So as you can see from the panel, it says, you know, SIM provides opportunities for learners to be future ready um, and to build yourself um, in terms of being more employable in today's day and age. Um, all the industries change so fast, you know, it's always good to be able to take up these short courses to improve on yourself as well. So over on this panel, you can see this is the Career Connect office and basically it allows existing students to be able to get more support on how to build their employability. So for example, there are career workshops, um, career guidance sessions, um, there are also internship and job opportunities for yourself and a ton of career events like networking, um, company visits and more. So these are just some of the awesome initiatives that as provides to help you ensure that you are ready um, to take over the world when you graduate. Um, over here you can actually see that you can download a career guide for yourself as well to you know better understand what are your future prospects like um, after you graduate and move on um, in your studies. Over on the right side of the room, you can see it is the SIM Academy, which actually helps adult learners and working professionals um, who are looking to upskill and advance in their careers. So go ahead, click into the panels to get a better sense um, or better idea of what SIM Academy offers and see it for yourself. You know, I think it's really important that we constantly work on improving ourselves. And there is a final portal here for us to explore and I see this beautiful shape waiting for me. Um, so we're going to enter, oops, I just ran into, I just ran into the shape, but, but we're going to enter um, the region success at every life stage right now. Okay, we have uh, arrived at success at every life stage and I gotta say this region is looking pretty cool. I really like the different mountains you can see at the back as well. Um, so there are obviously um, four different elements for you to explore. We're gonna start over here um, with the SIM Center for Micro-Credentials. Um, this is something we spoke about briefly just now. And essentially, micro-credentials are short-term courses um, that SIM offers um, for fresh graduates or job seekers, you know, to gain the competitive edge in the job market. So over here, feel free to go ahead and to learn more about the different courses that they provide. I, I saw Python programming, which is super relevant um, in today's day and age um, to have a good understanding of. So go ahead, click into the links to um, explore the different micro credentials that SIM offers. 
So over here in the orange section, we actually have the success series podcast, which you can listen to on Spotify. Um, over here, you can listen in to the various success stories of past alumni in SIM. So how they spend their time in SIM and how they've continued ahead to achieve success in their various industries and this actually leads us on to our green section in this region which is the SIM Achievers Showcase and in this section you'll be able to see the various achievers that have graduated from SIM over the years. So with a solid global education experience as the foundation they were really able to move ahead in their respective careers and that's what it means to learn and thrive for life, isn't it? Last but certainly not the least in this section of the region, we have SIM Overseas Alumni Chapters. Um, and basically, SIM continuously strengthens ties with their various alumni overseas to encourage strong connected networks around multiple countries. So feel free to click into the different panels to learn how you can stay connected with various SIM alumni after your education experience. So now that we've explored all of the different sections in this region, we're going to head back through the portal, um, back to the learners eduverse. Okay, so we are back in the main region um, and I have collected my second last shape um, so far, so I'm very excited. So if you're wondering where is the final shape for you to collect to complete your quest, it is actually at this survey form right here. All you need to do is complete it either in this panel or you can also click into the browser, which is what I prefer to do. And once you're done with this entire survey, you will actually be prompted that you have have officially completed your quest. Congratulations! I hope you recognize where all of the different shapes were located at. Um, and with this, you stand a chance to win some of these attractive prizes. So you can potentially win a Nintendo Switch, JBL earphones, a Samsung Galaxy Tab, Apple AirPods, or even an Apple Watch for yourself. So go ahead and collect those shapes. So we have reached the end of the SIM Learners Ediverse. Thank you so much for spending the time with me today. I just want to remind you that the event is happening from the 12th to 19th of November. And if you'd like, you can go ahead and book a consultation to speak to any of the recruitment experts about any of the questions you have about your brand new journey. So go ahead, log into the Learners Ediverse for yourself, and I hope to see you there. Take care.